Philip, congratulations on uh, landing this role in Outcast. You play the Reverend. Yeah. Uh, what can you tell us about the series going forward? What can you tell the fans who love the comic book what to expect from the TV version? Um, well, I, good question. I don't know yet. We haven't filmed it. Well, make but, something up. But all right. Um, we, we've shot the pilot, obviously, and it's going to be very dark. Um, but it's 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 going to be out there, and and I'm looking forward to the challenge of playing a southern preacher, um, a bit of Gene Hunt with a dog collar, really, in an American accent. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, and I th it's going to be exciting, you know. It's it's my first foray into American TV as well, and, I, and for me, I just think um, without you know being, but I do think at the moment it's the benchmark is American television. It's coming out with the best stories, the best writers, um, production values. So it's really exciting to be part of that. And hopefully with Outcast we can, um, you know, take that to the next level. Chris, you're running the show, show runner officially. Uh, how far can you go these days? Because Walking Dead pushed it about as far as I thought I'd ever see it. Can you can you push it even further with the darkness, with the horror, with Outcast? Well, we hope. I mean, everything always comes from character and what you know what's going to be great and fun and what hopefully is going to invest the audience in the show is what happens with these people. You know, with Reverend Anderson, with Kyle, with Megan, with the with the, the actors. But the great thing about working with Cinemax is, yeah, they're like pushing as far as you want. They're like, we're we're always like, can we do this? And they're like, mm. yes, we can. Yes, we can. So I mean, I think it's I, like, I think the, the the thing is, what's what's great about American TV? They've got great ambition behind it, you know. And obviously, there's the money behind it as well, hopefully. But there's the ambition, and they're wait, bold. there's money behind it. Is there? I don't know. I, I don't know. Are you seeing it? I think no. they spent all the money on the pilot, Philip. Shh, oh, well, see ya. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, uh, I'll ask you one more question. You're here at Comic Con, of course, uh, but you're not showing it here, you're not talking about it. Is this your first time at Comic Con? Yeah. Okay. What are you making of it so far? I think it's great. I mean, I'm jet lagged to, to hell at the moment, but this whole thing is, is keeping me going. And I'm, I'm, you know, as soon as I landed at San Diego, I just thought, I quite like it. It's just You get a feeling for a place, don't you? And it just feels like very vibrant and and kind of fun, so I'm looking forward to it, yeah. And so you'll be back, I guess, next year, talking so. to the fans about the, how unless the series... We, unless we totally screw it up. Yeah, unless, then, yes, we, we'll, unless we bomb. Unless Phil... No, don't, don't, no pressure. Did you say bomb or bum? I wasn't sure. I don't know. Unless bum, we, bum bum it, unless we uh, totally the, bum it. The French for boom. Okay. Have boom. a great evening. Go. You know what I recommend for jet lag? Go and get drunk. That's exactly We're what we're doing. We're halfway there. Okay. Have we a do. great night. Great to see you guys. Thanks, Have a great night.